Well, there, there are quite a lot of high points in most of the things. One is simply the use of the chorus in massive resources, a huge orchestra and a huge chorus, and so there's a blinding moments of wow, wowness. Um, I think really it's the two moments when there's the first song that Walter sings, which you think is glorious. It's so romantic and so perfect. marked down for it and so on and then he he writes a new one trying to obey the rules but also keeping his own spirit and and then when he sings that so it is so beautiful and and so miraculous And then there's the very end, which is often misinterpreted, where Hans Sachs, who is really the hero of the, op of the opera, uh, utters this warning about, uh, about art, art and nationhood. Of course, you have to remember, this was written at the time when there was no country called Germany. There were all these different kingdoms and principalities, Prussia and Bavaria and so on. And, uh, and so he talks about uh, the need for, for the German music not to be polluted by other music, no, which of course in our ears sounds a bit sounds a bit fascistic, but it's actually it's a bit like what French people say about keeping American influence out of French music. You know, people like to have, to have their, their culture should have its own identity and not everything being an sort of international soup. <laughs> It's almost with music, it's like colour and a feel, and, and, and the colour and feel that Wagner has is something that just simply enraptures me.